Not long ago, while attending a security forum, U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, Director Byrne said this, that the U.S. has made progress in rebuilding its intelligence network in China. However, less than a month later, in August 2023, China's Ministry of State Security, MSS, made public a recently uncovered case of CIA espionage in the United States. Several details of this case are noteworthy. The spy was originally a staff member of the Military Industrialization Corporation, Mike, and was sent abroad on a public study trip. During the period abroad, he was targeted by the CIA, and after establishing a close relationship with him, the other party revealed his identity and asked him to become a spy, promising to pay him a huge amount of compensation and to handle immigration to the United States for his whole family, the person agreed to become a spy and accepted the U.S. assessment and training, the spy returns home after completing his studies and continues to provide intelligence for the United States. The specifics of this case have not yet been made public, and we have no way of knowing for now. But looking at the few details that have been made public, we have to say that in fact, decades have passed, and the routine of spy cases is still the same. The main character of this video today, his story can be said to fit perfectly with all the details of the new case so far. Well, welcome to my channel and let's watch today's video together. At the end of the video, I will also share with you some of the main points about the case that I have seen in the media inside China, so remember to watch to the end. He is a famous Chinese military expert, but for 5,000 US dollars, many times to foreign countries to leak China's cutting-edge weapon secrets, resulting in more than a decade of research ruined, after the incident, he was carrying a large number of confidential documents of the military, ready to take the plane to escape. So, what weapon secrets did he leak? And why did he act as a spy for a foreign country? On September 26, 1968, a newborn baby was born in a poor peasant family in China, and he is the main character of this video, Zhang Jianga. Unlike children who grow up in ordinary homes, Zhang Jianga showed a remarkable mind from an early age. He could basically look at a test question that would take his peers several minutes to do and come up with the answer. Although his family's financial situation was not very good, they still provided him with material conditions as much as possible, and Zhang's parents just poured all their money into his education. Zhang Jianga, with his own outstanding talent, when his peers are still in the fourth grade, he has been promoted to a high school and successfully entered the junior class of the University of Science and Technology of China. It is important to know that the junior class of the University of Science and Technology of China, USTC, is for children who are particularly gifted in certain areas, specializing in training research talents and scientists for China. During his time at the university, Zhang Jianga remained diligent and hardworking, and not only did he earn his undergraduate degree with honors, but he also completed his master's degree in just two years. Before he graduated, he was approached by a number of defense industry research institutes who wanted him to serve his country. He finally chose the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, CSIC, 73rd Research Institute in Zhengzhou, Hunan Province, in central China. The 713th Institute of CSIC, or Institute 713 for short, was founded in April 1963, with research interests including new energy weapons, ship electromechanical equipment, and so on, and is one of China's key military industrial units. At that time, there was a key project in 713 Institute, and Zhang Jianga was assigned to work on this key project as soon as he entered the institute. This key project was not a conventional weapon, it was the electromagnetic gun which we are familiar with now, but was still in the emerging field at that time, at the same time, it was also this weapon that completely changed the direction of Zhang Jianga's life. We all know that the electromagnetic gun, known as the electromagnetic rail gun, as an emerging shipboard future weapons, powerful, long-range, high-precision, low-cost, has always been the focus of the research of the major powers of the military industry. If China takes the lead in the development of the electromagnetic cannon, then undoubtedly will be in the future military pattern to take advantage of all the opportunities, a step ahead of the step ahead. 
At the beginning, Zhang Jianga specialized in the research of new electromagnetic gun for aircraft carriers. With his outstanding talent and deep foundation, Zhang Jianga quickly integrated into the research team, and after more than 10 years of experience and technology accumulation, he was eventually promoted to the team's core researchers. Zhang Jianga is not only familiar with how to develop domestic electromagnetic artillery, but also has a very good understanding of the current situation of electromagnetic artillery research in foreign countries. In March 2009, he even published a research paper related to electromagnetic artillery for American aircraft carriers in a certain journal. In this paper, on the one hand, he clearly stated the six main achievements of the electromagnetic gun of American aircraft carriers at that time, and on the other hand, he also pointed out the research status and six shortcomings of the electromagnetic gun of the country's aircraft carriers. Not only that, he even looked forward to the future development trend of the U.S. carrier electromagnetic gun in this paper. At this time, the United States attempted to bring the strategically valuable Zhang Jianga to the United States in the name of recruiting talents. Just Zhang Jianga's side of the protection force is particularly strong, the United States has not been able to find the opportunity, until they saw the end of this paper mentioned above. At the end of the paper, Zhang Jianga believes that electromagnetic artillery research is difficult, China's researchers should strengthen the technical cooperation and exchanges with other countries, so as to complement each other's strengths, for example, the United States has taken the mode of cooperation with Europe. In fact, Zhang Jianga's statement does not have any problem, and even very reasonable, the United States precisely from the opportunity to see, in November 2011, they are in the name of academic exchanges, invited Zhang Jianga and a number of well-known domestic experts to the United States to visit the school. In this regard, was looking forward to academic exchanges of Zhang Jianga Natural did not refuse, gleefully boarded the flight to the United States, unaware that in the moment he just stepped on U.S. soil, has been stared at by agents. In fact, at first, the agents did not dare to act immediately, but first separated him and the rest of the scientific researchers intentionally, and then sent an agent under the pseudonym Jack to contact. At a scientific conference, Jack pretended to be a high-ranking official of the U.S. military, specifically to find Zhang Jianga, and Zhang Jianga happened to need a local to teach experience, so the two people talked happily. Jack and Zhang Jianga acquaintance, and repeatedly invited him to participate in the ball, and all the latter's expenses are borne by Jack, do not need Zhang Jianga spend a penny. In the face of the money offensive and extravagant life, from the poverty of the mountains out of the Zhang Jianga sunk, although the inner vaguely feel that there is something wrong, but he still chose to believe in Jack. At that time, Agent Jack used sugar-coated shells to make this Chinese electromagnetic artillery expert slowly fell after the final tear down his disguise, in a ball, he directly showed his identity as an agent. At first, Zhang Jianga was indeed extremely shocked to hear this news, and he wanted to immediately run back to the Chinese delegation to seek asylum, but for some unknown reason, this expert who came out of a poor mountain village still hesitated. He thought that although he was an authoritative expert in the field of electromagnetic cannons for Chinese aircraft carriers, but after all, he was only one of the many related researchers, and it wouldn't have much of an impact if he made contact with the American agents. With this kind of fluke, Zhang Jiang are ready to listen to Jack what insights, and Jack's next words, but completely shattered his psychological defense. Jack said, as long as you promise to provide us with electromagnetic cannon-related information, we will immediately provide you with 3,000 US dollars, and after that, every relevant information provided, you will be able to obtain 5,000 US dollars. On top of that, don't you have a daughter who is studying? If you agree, we will immediately arrange for your daughter to attend the best university in the US and get a US green card. Hearing Jack's words, Zhang Jianga's faith was shaken, in fact, 5,000 US dollars is not so important, more importantly, the other party promised to train his only daughter. In the end, under the temptation of CIA agent Jack, 
China's top carrier electromagnetic gun expert Zhang Jianga compromised, promised to provide the United States with extremely valuable domestic carrier electromagnetic gun information. In December 2012, Zhang Jianga returned from the United States academic exchanges, together with the 713 Institute researchers did not find any abnormalities, and since his return to the United States has also repeatedly contacted Jack secretly through the core information he passed over. The original only research carrier electromagnetic gun in the direction of the rail gun, the United States, even through this in the direction of China's best coil gun to achieve a bend in the direction of overtaking. Since then, the US holds the two major directions of rail gun and coil gun, and has been far ahead in the entire field of carrier electromagnetic gun. The US electromagnetic gun bends the road to overtake, as well as Zhang Jianga all sorts of abnormal behavior, was finally captured by China's National Security Agency, and then set up a task force, specializing in the investigation of this case. 2014 June, just when Zhang Jianga noticed the wind is not right, ready to abscond with a large number of classified scientific research information, the task force in the airport will be caught on the spot even with the evidence. After the investigation, Zhang Jianga provided the United States with a total of more than 20 confidential information, most of which is related to electromagnetic artillery, and finally in October 2015, Zhang Jianga was sentenced to 15 years in prison according to the law. After watching this video, is it not particularly lamentable? A well-known expert, just like this killed his future. At present, the China Mission Center is the only mission center set up by the CIA for a single country. Transnational and Technology Mission Center is responsible for helping U.S. spies to refine their espionage technology, the U.S. CIA pays special attention to the application of artificial intelligence technology in cyberspace, the U.S. CIA then appointed the chief technology officer from Silicon Valley. The U.S. Department of Defense has also established an office, the Office of Influence and Cognitive Management. In publicly disclosed materials, it can be found that this agency will influence the strategic decisions of other countries through the results of digital analysis. In the current cyber environment, the activity space of ordinary people has been greatly extended through the Internet and social media, which is also one of the most important mediums for espionage. Among the typical cases publicized by China's national security organ some time ago are many related to social media, some social media accounts have attracted a large number of followers since 2020, first under the guise of introducing daily life abroad. After this, these accounts began to carry private cargo, frequently posting content that smears the image of other countries in the form of rumors and defamation. In social media, these manipulative tactics show a multipoint blossoming, rapid iteration, and platform-wide linkage, subconsciously influencing our perceptions through information manipulation. Certain goals that were previously only achievable by military force can now be reached with the tools of cyberspace. The battle for cognition has reached an unprecedented level of daylight, so to speak. For example, through media outlets that they control, they specialize in different designs for different language versions of stories, customized to guide perceptions. There are also social media accounts that intersperse 10 neutral tweets with one misleading one. People's perceptions are affected in such a process. Social conflicts, hot issues and major events in other countries are utilized to stir up social conflicts and create divisions in groups. However, all changes are the same, and the key to not being changed by others is to have clear thinking and cognitive coordinates. In 2021, when the CIA established the China Mission Center, China proposed the Global Development Initiative. In 2022, when the U.S. Department of Defense established the Office of Influence and Cognitive Management, China proposed the Global Security Initiative. In 2022, when the U.S. Department of Defense establishes the Office of Influence and Perception Management, China will propose the Global Security Initiative. Chinese people often say that we have come to this day after 5,000 years of history, and we can't be sidetracked by a five-second video at every turn. As we have all noticed, this month, 
China's Ministry of State Security has further come to the forefront by publishing articles through social media platforms. State security organs are increasingly emphasizing openness while carrying out covert work. This suggests that the battle for perception on social media is indeed looming. I'm actually slowly changing my perception as a YouTuber who has only been running a channel for just two years. Some viewers have left messages in the comments saying that I'm doing a kind of propaganda, which is actually not true at all. I am just an independent individual who shares what I know and expresses my personal opinions. In the face of the social media complex information, we can all look at it, it provides just a kind of information, as for whether to believe what it says. This is to be combined with our life experience, educational background to judge and analyze, we cannot reject the information, but in the front of the information, we can ask one more question, is it so? When everyone has a microphone in hand, we can ask one more question, is it true? That's all for today's sharing, we'll see you tomorrow.